It's been dubbed by some critics as the saviour of the Australian film industry. Others aren't so convinced. E! News caught up with Nick Boucher, the star of the film, to get the inside scoop. This film is called Touching My Son. There's this interesting relationship that you have here because the single father is a hip-hop artist trying to do his thing and he's also trying to raise a kid. But on top of that, you know, the kids a ghost. Okay, Stephen, we're going to try um, the forehand. So what was it about your character that drew you to this script? Firstly, it's a single dad, not a single mum, which is incredible in terms of a concept and a context. Because, you know, normally in all the films that we've seen, it's single mothers. And that's how it normally is, because the guy skips town, the guy leaves, he's like, you know what, I've had enough. I've literally had enough. I've got to get out of here. This bitch is crazy. He's also trying to balance that with his Aussie hip hop stuff. Clinking on my boot on the path. Then my gun slow. No, I'm going fast. Where to? It's my ute. Yeah, you beaut. Gonna get in it. The wells I'm gonna spin it. There are many moments in this film. Uh, do you have a favourite? The scene with the kid. Steven, the toddler, the ghost, slash my kid, uh, when I was preparing a meal for him. You know, I was cutting up veggies and I was like, hey, have some of the veggies. Eat it, man. Eat, eat the veggies, you know? And Steven's like, no, I don't want to do it. You don't hear that, but he's, you can tell that he doesn't want to eat the veggies. But the suggestion on top of that, it's like preparing a meal for a ghost? That's crazy. That's crazy, man. That doesn't happen. Maybe you should just let him go. I'm not gonna let him go. I've lost him once. I'm not gonna lose him again, okay? You got that? This isn't a film for everyone. Uh, one critic has described Touching My Son as a sad rehash of themes more eloquently explored in films like Casper or The Sixth Sense. Well, but okay, you've got Casper. You see the ghost. Firstly, it's like bang, right there. In Casper, you see the ghost. The other things, like in the sixth sense, you're like, is the old guy a ghost? Everybody's like, what? That is amazing. I didn't know. In this movie, touching my son, you're like, at the start, you're like, oh, that's the ghost. That's weird. Steven. Steven, get up. Steven, wake up. Steven, wake up. There's quite a poignant moment in this film where the theme of child abuse or imaginary child abuse is explored. As an actor, was that a challenge for you? Yeah, man. That was heavy. I think one thing that's really important is kids aren't faultless. It's like kids aren't these perfect little things that don't do any wrong. Kids mess up all the time. And hey, they've got to learn a lesson. But there's also another point that's really interesting. You've got a single parent household. Normally it's father and wife. In this case, it's father and son. That's a ghost. So there's added complications. In the father and wife thing, if you come home drunk, you don't normally go for the kid. You wouldn't normally go for the kid. You'd be at the, you have the wife. And you're like, hey, stop doing that every time. You're making me really mad. And then that's what would happen normally, but in this case, there's a child there that um, made it pretty harrowing. And it was tough for me, you know, because it opened a couple of wounds and you know what, I've, I'm over it. I'm, I'm cool with it. You know, but that's acting. That's acting. Hopefully a lot of people are gonna see this film. What's the one thing you would want them walking out of the theatre thinking? What do I want them to walk out of the theatre thinking? Touching my son, you know, like I've... I've seen a lot, you know, people walk out of the film going, what was that about? Like, what was going on? And that's the kind of thing, you know, people... I want people to think, you know, whose son can I touch? Is it mine? Is it someone else's? You know, we go about our daily lives working and having fun and blah, blah, blah. How often do you ask yourself, why am I here? I heard that question posed to people often. 
and people have walked out going, I don't, what was that? And that stays with them. They're asking questions. They're begging questions. So, yeah. Touching My Son is released nationally on July 17th.